Uh, so let's look at question six. The diagram below shows the model of a crane with a counterbalance weighing 200 newtons. This counterbalance can be moved further or closer to zero to accommodate different loads. Uh, and what is the maximum load the crane can safely lift? We've got a situation here. The counterbalance is not the 200 newtons. This is the load. And then the counterbalance is the 800 newtons. So in order for us to lift the maximum load, then the, this counterbalance should be at the far end of this side of the train. So uh, for us to find it, we are going to balance the moment, the moment, meaning the clockwise moment should be equal to the anticlockwise moment. So we already have the counterbalance. Now we need to find the maximum force, which can be put as a load this side to be lifted when this is at the far end. So we'll also put the, the, the force we want to find at the far end of this side of the train. So let's solve it now. So what we have is a crane. Let's make it like this. And then this is the pivot, the pivot P. And when we put the counterbalance 800 newtons here, this is the distance of one meter here. And then this is two meters, this distance over here. And then we should put the load here, which is F. So these two moments have to balance the clockwise moments made by the 800 newtons load and the anticlockwise moment made by the load we are trying to find. So the clockwise moments 800 times this distance one meter should be equal to two times this force F. Then F is equal to 800 over two, which is equal to 400 newtons which is the answer and in this case is b which is b in this case uh so let's look at the next question a dog is running at a constant speed of three meters per second increases its speed to seven meters per second upon seeing a lion if the mass of the dog is 20 kg the work it does calculate the work it does in achieving the new speed the work which is just the same as the kinetic yeah so uh, the, the work is just the same as the kinetic energy. So the, the, the kinetic energy that is required in achieving the new speed will be called Ke, which is the kinetic energy, is equal to half mv squared. But this v is not cons a constant, or maybe it changed from 3 to 7 meters per second. So the kinetic energy will be equal to half the mass, then final velocity minus initial velocity squared so ke should be equal to half which is what's the mass the mass is 20 kg that's the the given mass and then the final velocity is 7 and the initial is 3 which is equal to half 20 then times 4 squared uh, if we compute that that will be 0 0.5 times 20 times 16. 0 0.5. That's 10 times 16, which will be equal to kinetic energy is equal to 160 joules. So the answer is B. The purpose of this vacuum. Uh, the purpose of the vacuum mainly is to prevent heat transfer by conduction and convection because when heat is being transferred by radiation it can even pass through a vacuum so it prevents the heat transfer by conduction and convection so the answer is b uh, then for question nine molecules of a liquid evaporate from a container and the temperature of the liquid left in the container changes from which part of the body of the liquid do the molecules escape and what is the effect on the temperature of the liquid left in the container uh, so when a liquid is evaporating uh, the, 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 what, can, what do you call the, okay, the, the vapor that evaporates comes from the surface of the liquid so it's only the liquid of the, the, the liquid surface and then the temperature will decrease the reason being since the kinetic energy of a molecule is proportional to its temperature evaporation pro will proceed more quickly at higher temperatures uh, so as the faster moving molecules escape the remaining molecules have lower average kinetic energy and the temperature of the liquid hence decreases in that manner. Yeah. So 
the answer in this case will be C, which is D, only the liquid surface and then the temperature decreases. Uh, for question 10, the diagram below shows be, represents a transverse wave, below which two marked points is the distance equal to the wavelength of the wave. So if you look at this point, from A to here, that's the wavelength. That's one wavelength. And when we make a, when we start from here, the, from here, we don't have any point here. So when we start from here, this is B, and it should go all this way, just going, and then when it reaches here, this was the point, this is one wavelength. So it should go to the same distance here, so it will be from B to G, this is one wavelength, from B to G.